Okay. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to TK's Garage and welcome back to another Copart walk around. Now today's video is probably not going to be as long as normal as some of the other ones because it's probably for one of the weekend. It's, it's for the weekend either Saturday or Sunday. Today is Friday so it's going to be depending on how I decide to uh, pop this up. But uh, anywho's, let's get in it. Let's get in it. <laughs> let's get into it. We're going to start today off with say with me carnage look at that carnage <laughs> look at that smash that jeep is completely finished uh-oh we got some more over here man whoo whoo bad smashed all right another jeep what is it with y'all in jeeps man hey shout out to my dude rav4 guy look there's another one of the rav4s here smashed smashed in the rear quarter bent with the axle yeah, that's a no for me. Oh. What's not a no for me, though, is this LR3. Look at this Land Rover LR3 right here. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Ah, the damage doesn't look horrible to the front. I can definitely see where it's pushed back on that side. It is listed as a run and drive. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we know why it's here. Damn it, man. Okay. Well, this one, I guess is a flood car. You can see where all the water is coming out from right there. Okay, that's crazy. It's either that or it ran down in the rain in the floorboard because like something up there is clogged. That happens too. But it looks like it's coming out from that step and coming out. I'm gonna let this sit open for a minute and drain. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Well, my interest in this car instantly up. Oh. No? Maybe this was a flood car? Is the roof busted? No. So why in the hell is it full of water? Wow. It's not listed as a flood though. It's listed as front end damage. But these are known. I mean, you can drive this thing through the water like that. Wow. Yeah, and there's no water on this side. It's almost like somebody did that on purpose to try to scare somebody away from buying this vehicle. Or it's rained so much that, like I said, it went down one of the drain lines here and just filled up in the interior. Good news is, that's probably not, this is not a fraud car. And it didn't get really high in here, but it's enough that if anybody else looks at this car, it'll probably scare the absolute crap out of them. And they wouldn't buy it. Let me see if she has any power. Probably not, but I'll take a look. Oh, she does. That's a negative. I think this is just like a one we looked at before that wouldn't start. Yeah, I think I'm done with that one. Whew, all that water and stuff too? Man, hell no. And you won't start? Yeah, I think we're gonna pass on this one. Man, who thought, <laughs> who else was like, what the F when I opened the door and all that water came out? Like I just, like it's just been in the river, like dipping and diving and whatnot. That's crazy, man. Oh, here's a Mercedes E-Class. 
yeah it might be too much for me to want to deal with especially with how old this is it is listed as a run and drive though i mean it could be a good project car but see here's the thing man you know what i'm learning like you guys love when i do the walk around videos but nobody gives a rat's ass blood on the steering wheel yeah i'm gonna pass on this one nobody gives a rat's ass about me doing the actual work though every single video that i've done when we're actually fixing cars from the police car to the aspen to doing work on the tahoe that shit gets no views so when people are like how come you don't do more rebuilds on camera or why do i just send vehicles to shops to get fixed that's why <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'll go through the buy process i'll even go through the sell process with you but why waste time on uh you know doing videos for content that doesn't do anything but hurt the channel now for some people you know shout out to my members and shout out to the membership squad if you guys want to see it i'll i'll do it and pop them up as members only rebuild you know some of the rebuild videos as members only because then you know they're not public and i don't care so let me know what you guys think in the comments this focus st man this thing right here somebody said i should really look at this because it could be a a steel and i don't think it's uh, do you think this is a steel it don't look like a steel to me look at this this rail is all the way pushed in the whole front end all the way pushed in i don't see me doing anything with this one at all period there goes a nissan ultima smashed so and it's got ninety-four thousand miles on it it is a manual the interior doesn't look horrible but nah i couldn't do it i couldn't do it this focus st you know like i guess they have a following but i just i couldn't do it this thing's got way too much damage way too much damage but i know some people that love them it could be a good parts car for somebody maybe oh man all right let's see if we can find a couple more things to show you guys today see like this is a weekend video for y'all so like probably 10 15 minutes but it's just so you guys have something because some people would be like man gk on sundays ain't nobody posting no content man i got i got nothing to watch man you got to post something for us i'm like all right i guess i can start posting stuff for y'all on sundays you know or i can start posting some kind of content for y'all coming up you know Woo. let's see if we find anything back here that y'all want to see da, 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 da. here's something you don't see every day look at this old chevy bel air huh i don't know what year this is but uh she's been through it she's got grass and stuff over here so it got smashed i want to say 64 or 65 man look at that and it's done too this whole fender is all smashed the roof is all crushed let me see what year this is i said 64 or 65 it's a 63 63 impala look and and it's it got hit so bad it smashed so bad that you can see the doors are just like bent like this sad to see such an old beautiful car go like that man see the same thing right here wow all right old girl that's sad for you man ouch all right we're bike we're freewheeling at this point guys no list i'm just gonna walk through and see if anything catches my eye and we'll see if there's something here that we can add to the watch list that'll be coming up that we want to see you know see if there's something that we want to maybe throw a bit on later look at this malibu Shout out to the Carnage Squad. Damn, smashed. Whew. Oh, man. Hashtag another one. Damn. Carnage has been pretty... You know, we, we were getting a lot of Carnage for a while out here, and then it kind of fell off. It wasn't as busy. Oh. Yeah, you're going to be like TK and these damn envoys. Oh, and a BMW that starts but doesn't drive. 
wonder what's up with that. And it's a manual. Okay, you have my interest now. What is it? With this dumbass wing on it. 325i with a wing. Come on, man. Nope. I'm good. Back to the Envoy. Listed as a run and drive. This is an XL, right? Or is it just a regular Envoy? No, it's an XL. Wonder if it's got the V8. It is listed as a run and drive. 150,000 miles on its clock. Claw seats. This is like my Envoy XUV. Let's see if she uh has any other. Yo, look at the step motors are just shot. Come on, girl. Have some juice for me. Yes. Oof. She's got a very clear misfire. You guys can't feel the shake because I'm sure the GoPro has hyper smooth, but she's shaking. Check engine light. Yeah, radio shot. Yeah, not only does this have one of the worst transmissions that GM's made, the 4L60E, but she's running like dog shit. It's a misfire. Let's take a look at it. I know you guys are going to say, TK, as soon as it started shaking, you should have said, nah, but I'm not that way. Especially if she's got the V8. And it's got the V6, so I don't care. But see how she's shaking? Yeah. An XL with the V6 or an XUV with the V6? Nah. A regular Envoy with the V6? I'm down. But the six cylinder? You can miss me with all that. Oh well. On to the next one. Which I just happened to see by accident. It's right here. BMW 750LI. And I already know. Comments is already TK, you're stupid. Don't buy that. Them shits are nothing but problems. Says you. Like I know what goes wrong on these cars. I understand that it has transmission issues. I understand that it has valve seal issues. I understand all that. That's the difference. I like, I get it. The whole rear end of this is dropped though. I wonder what happened to the rear suspension. It's listed as a start, but not a drive. Oh, look at the interior, man. She is wore out. And this is an 11. But yeah, and she ain't got no power. Damn, I really wanted to see what this one was about. Yeah. Well, you win some, you lose some. That thing is hammered in the rear, though. Look at that. Man. I wonder what the opening bit is on this. What, what the bit is on it right now. Let's look it up real quick. Psst, 150 bucks. Look at that. See, and when I make, if I made a thumbnail with a 750 and put 150 bucks here, people would come in and be like, fake news. I'd be like, go look on the app yourself, man. Go look on the website damn clowns all right that's it for that one all right guys i think we're going to look for one more car and then we're going to go look at some bikes on the way out being that this is just a weekend video i don't want to say it's a filler video but you guys know how it is it's just something to keep you guys entertained on the weekends and you never know if i might find some wild crazy stuff out here you never know what you may walk into literally ah that poor little z3 smashed i'm not seeing nothing down here that's getting my attention nothing that i haven't seen i've seen all that right there dun, 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 dun. nothing that's like you gotta look at this. You gotta go see it. So, 
that's the other thing that this pandemic has done in case you guys didn't know is people haven't been out driving so there haven't been as many cars out here there just hasn't been less people driving less accidents damn this toyota it is listed as a run and drive but ouch i see a g8 over here it's a gt and eh, i'm wrong this is v6 Alright. Are you kind of still here? Hey, this is that Dodge Ram. Shout out to Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I've showed this before in a previous video, and this thing actually came up uh, for sale. Somebody bought it, and I guess they never picked it up. I know it's on the list to come back up. This uh, running and driving 2020 Dodge Ram 2500. Look, it's even got the lights up top. I know Randy said he wanted those lights on the top. But 2500, heavy duty. I think this is a Laramie though. Yeah, look at those leather seats. That shit is butter, man. And it's got the extra long cab here in the rear. Man, it's super. I've showed this before. I'm not going to go all over it again. But I know y'all will go blow up Randy's thing. Randy, you should sell your Ram and buy this one. Nah. And I feel, you know, I'll throw a bid on it if I actually have an opportunity to win the damn car. Yeah, we've saw this before too. The Charger smashed. I'm not seeing anything new on this side, guys. And that's just also a product of ain't nobody crashing nothing right now because a lot of people ain't been out driving now that stuff is opened back up though we will see a lot more um people crashing into stuff or people that have crashed into stuff we're just gonna you're just gonna see it it's just gonna happen so anywho's let's go back that way oh that poor little prius smashed look at this mazda Smash! Y'all getting the carnage walk around right now. Damn. This poor little Z3, man. Say it with me. Smashed. Smashed, smashed, and more smashed. Look at this Ford. Smashed. Damn, y'all getting all the smashed. Smashed. Y'all. <laughs> I need to get me a Hulk animation. Smashing something. Smash. Well, <laughs> that's what I need to do. I need to get that animation. For these videos yeah they just had a little cluster of carnage all in one spot just smashed hey you got the eco boost mustang from carvana never buy a car from them by the way i mean even if you got great credit they still give you dookie ass uh interest rates i know people are gonna be like why do you guys say that tk i just don't rock with them man i don't i don't like companies that take advantage of people same thing with santander or chrysler financial never rock with them finance with somebody else man finance with somebody else you know uh, that mercedes i've looked at is smashed i'm not seeing anything new down that way i think that's it of relevant stuff i want to show you guys today let's go take a look at some of these bikes see if we got any new nice bikes on the way out all right guys let's get over here and see if we got any new bikes shall we there's that side by side that you guys may have seen in the last few videos golf carts are still here those are here those have been here yep yep and yep yep all of those have been here yeah this vulcan is new We'll take a look at that no we can't because there's no keys all right oh look at this harley road king that's nice what do you guys think i'm looking for the key thingy she's dead guys she's dead there's another one back here
she's dead that's a new one so they have a couple of them that they need to charge look at that one look at this harley with the mud in the tailpipes so it slid it got laid down and it slid over until it hit that i wonder if she's got power Nope, she is dead. There's a victory with a I don't know what kind of what kind of uh, exhaust system that is. That's weird. We'll take a look at it though. I'm willing to bet she's dead, but I'll take a look at it. Yep, nothing. Wow, I guess they they were like, nah, you found in too many nice bikes out here that run. We got to turn them shits off. They were like, nah you're good okay here's a key which i see right here but where is the key spot unless it's like right here that's for the gas tank i'm looking guys i'm looking yeah and it's still got a strap all and yeah, i'm straight i'm not gonna mess with that look at this one though Look at this classic colored Harley. Let's see, do you think it's got power? Oh, you'd be right. It's got power. Oh man, I'm about to do something dumb. Now this looks like that one you're seeing over there or that one which I started last time. This one's a little different. Let's see if she, what do you think? You think she'll fire up? Oh, I hate this shit. Oh. All right, I got her here. Man, she's hot. Let me make sure she's in uh, neutral real quick. Yeah. All right. What they say? Do it for the gram. Let me put y'all right here. Let's see if it'll hold. Probably not, but we'll try. shakes a lot just like the uh the uh just like the other uh other harley man that blue one that shook like a son of a bitch this one shakes too they everyone tells me it'll stop shaking so much once you're moving but i don't know maybe i'll have to take one out for a ride and see but there's that one guys that one's nice and pretty i like that that can am is interesting but it's smashed I don't know what's up with this little Harley, huh? It's a 750. Let's see if she has any power. Nope, dead. Well, guys, this one right here looks like it's uh, this low rider with the smashed in gas tank is might be the last one we get to look at. Is my jeans wet? It is, man. I'm sitting on that damn thing. All right. Let's see. Where is the key for this one? Over here, huh? Is that just for the forks? Yeah. So, this should have what? An accessory switch or something somewhere. I'm looking for it. That would probably be this right here, right? Yep, she's got power. She's got power. Do you think she'll fire up though? Mm. Let's see. Clutch. She's in neutral. Let's see if she'll fire up. Run position. 
you can hear the fuel fuel uh, pop up let me mount you guys right here by my balls give me one second let's see if she fires up let me get my foot on the brake I can use this brake here we go she runs That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Huh. Well, there's the number on it, guys. Like I said, tank. Some scrapes up here. Let's see if she's got some scrapes anywhere else. I mean, the saddlebag. But it's not terrible. No way to tell really for real unless you have somebody look at it if the forks are really bent. But this Harley could go for some decent money meaning not too expensive but there you have it all right guys that's going to do it for our today's copart walk around this is just a bonus video for you guys today and we looked at some bikes some other cars and a couple other things let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below make sure that you click the subscribe button and make sure that you click the thumbs up and have the notification notification bell clicked so that you don't miss any of our videos. Every once in a while during the week, during the live premieres, when we when we drop these videos, we do crazy stuff like Amazon gift cards. Sometimes I might just drop cash. Also, make sure that you're following me at TK's Garage on Instagram. TKS Garage on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Again, major shout out to my people out here in Lumberton and Copart in general for allowing me to come out here and do what I do. Hope y'all have a good rest of y'all's weekend and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.